A lesson in current events prompts a firestorm on social media. Good evening, everyone. I'm Valerie Lawson. I'm Mark Bullock. It all started with a controversial classroom activity that prompted an angry mother's rant on Facebook. The mother of a sixth grader says her son's class went too far when students were instructed to reenact the Ferguson, Missouri shooting. It happened at Brantley Elementary School in Dallas County. Now the school system is investigating. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis has the details. This was not nowhere near right. It was uncalled for. It started out as an innocent current events lesson. Sixth graders at Brantley Elementary discussing recent happenings in Ferguson, Missouri. I understand talking about current history, but not reenacting it, I don't. Jessica Bond's son was part of the lesson she says went too far. She had them get on the internet and look up everything about it. They proceeded to reenact the shooting in class. Paper guns, the paper bullets, we, they actually shot them out of this made gun. The child falls on the ground like he's dead. You've got a white child playing the white cop and a black student playing the black male that got shot. What are we teaching our children? The Dallas County School Superintendent has decided not to go on camera about this situation, at least until he finishes his own investigation. In order to avoid any type of awkwardness at school, he tells me for today, the teacher was put on administrative leave with pay. If that's what it takes for them to understand that parents are not going to tolerate this in school, then that's what it takes. Bond did meet with the superintendent and the principal. They were mad because I had went to social media about it, but as a parent, I think other parents need to know. Superintendent Don Willingham tells me he just wants parents to know they can and should come to him first with their concerns. Vaughn says her Facebook post was more about making other parents aware. That's what's wrong with the society right now. Is parents are not aware of what's going on in schools. They're not aware of what their children are being exposed to. And me as a parent, I want to know. I'm thinking that she's teaching him the right thing. And he comes home and he tells me this and I, I mean, I was speechless. I don't know what to say. Willingham expects his investigation to be complete and a decision on how to move forward by Thursday. Bethany Davis, WSFA 12 News, Dallas County. Again, that teacher is on leave right now. We will keep you updated on the school system's investigation.